six pack anymore, as you can see. Well, I have a little bit of one, but a lot of the definition's gone away, and I'm just really, I'm just like a self critical motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. <laughs> ah, I gotcha again. <laughs> hey, YouTube, welcome back to the Shimmy Show. This is another quick episode about um, time restricted eating. Yes time restricted eating. Basically, uh, if you have watched a previous episode about my whole uh, intermittent fasting and uh, that kind of fitness shit, I go on about uh, the schedule that I'm on where I eat from, say, 8 a.m. in the morning until 7 a.m. in the evening. Or I'm, That didn't make any sense. Did it? From, say, after the morning run, let's just say it's fucking 8 in the morning, I'll cut out my eating at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. at the latest. That way I have a good 12-hour cycle to reset my body's system or whatever. And I try to exercise and eat the same time every day. I hope you guys can see me. I'm doing a fucking reflection of myself in the mirror. This, that's a little better. Uh, better to hold the camera this way, I think. This is a really amateur show if you guys can't tell. But anyway, yeah, I'm just opening up a little bit about intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating. It is not easy. It is currently about 9 o'clock, 9.30 p.m., and I'm a little hungry. I don't have any more BCAA powder or tea, so I'm just going to drink water until tomorrow because I wanted to show you guys and girls what happens when you go off of your time-restricted eating diet or whatever. You're sick. I, I was like a six-pack abs motherfucker. Not getting more, and I don't you can really see. Have my... Well, I have a little bit of one, but a lot of the definition's gone away, and I'm just really... I'm just like a self-critical motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've gone off my diet for like, uh, for like uh, about mm, five or six days, almost a week, and I can see the difference. I mean, I, I weighed myself. I still weigh pretty, my weight hasn't gone up. I'm 73.6 kilos, but um, I've got more like, you know, the definition's gone, and I'm just, I, no, I notice small details more than others would notice these things, so... Anytime you go off of your diet or you're deficient in your vitamins or protein powder or just something is lacking, your body's not going to be at 100%. So tomorrow, first thing, baby, I'm going to the motherfucking uh, nutrition store getting some BCAA powder and some more protein powder and I think I might be out of one or two of my vitamins or whatever to get that shit back rolling. But one thing I'm not going to do since I've realized i got to correct something, I'm not going to go eat nothing right now even though I'm hungry as a motherfucker. Hungry, hungry hippo. So it can wait. Weight loss and six packs abs is painful, people. Most people don't realize that. That's why only like motherfucking probably less than 5% of the world's population has it because it's painful and most people don't want to put in the work for any kind of diet or exercise program. Progress is painful. And if you're not willing to put yourself through pain, you're not going to have any gain. The old age is true. No pain, no gain. So. That is what it is, you know. I'm still here in uh, Thailand, if you guys can't tell. I hop from apartment to apartment, to condo to condo, to hotel to hotel, just because just cause I'm that nigga, I'm shimmy. You know, whatever. But explore some more. This is a nice, I stay in this motherfucker like every year. You can check out one of my other YouTube channels and uh, see it. You know, give you guys a motherfucking deal if you guys want to fucking rent it or some shit. I can hook it up. You know what I'm saying? But come with me and explore another level of this pimp and I'll give you a motherfucking tour of the place in the daylight. It's fucking nighttime out right now and there's like a... I guess I could show you a quick preview of nightlife on the quiet side of town here. You can't see shit anyway, I guess, but it's nice and calm and tranquil right near the beach. I'm up on a high motherfucking floor. So I can like throw motherfuckers off the balcony if they cut up or whatever. <laughs> Kidding, maybe. But yeah, man, um, this is a beautiful fucking place. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to drink that water because time-restricted eating and all that shit, it, uh, it pays off. It pays its dividends. You know, it is what it is. I love Thailand, by the way. I got my an another 100 baht jersey. $2 clothes, cheaper than doing laundry, people. So, you know, get it how you live, like they say. 
This is Chevy from The Chevy Show, Mr. Six Pack Abs, trying my best to not get fat again and work out and run and all that shit, and I'll do some more workouts, uh, whatever. I actually recorded a Chloe Ting hit cardio workout, another version of it today in the workout room, in the yoga room here, so I'll put that online on my other channel, and uh, you guys can fucking watch it if you want to, but I have been doing that workout for almost three years now, about two and a half years, same shit every day. Repetition is the key. Find something that works and stick with it and keep repeating it. And I keep repeating this because redundancy works. Redundancy gets results in everything. Health, life, business, relationships, or whatever. You have to commit and just put yourself through the pain. Even though I'm hungry right now, I'm just going to drink water and go to bed. Have some tea, maybe, if I could find some. But that is the sacrifice, people. That is what Shimmy does. And that's what I do. Most people, again, most people are not willing to put themselves through pain or through the process of doing anything. So therefore, they never accomplish anything. Put yourself through the pain. Make the commitment and that's how you get results. <laughs> and that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to say that because a lot of motherfuckers might think that I got it easy or things come naturally or come easy to me. And it's not that. I just learn from my mistakes and learn from the mistakes of others and commit and do it and do the fucking work there are no shortcuts i will keep repeating this there are no shortcuts you build a house one brick at a motherfucking time okay and that's all i gotta say shimmy from the shimmy show signing out these words have rang true for me and they will always be true so there are no shortcuts in life put yourself through the pain to get the gain shimmy and i prove this message by my movies i want show money honey sign it out out of here, y'all. Bye-bye. Peace. Here we go. I'm that hobby shy nigga. It's me, Shimmy Cash, nigga. The A-Rap fuck nigga in the club, nigga. The little short black Ethiopian nigga. I run 10Ks like Sonic Hedgehog, nigga. I film your bitches with my Canon camera, nigga. Now they on my website, the one money everywhere, nigga. Cause you didn't pay her $600, nigga. Now she worked for me, cause you was a cheap ass, nigga, nigga. Cause chicas need a new iPhone, nigga. Y'all just don't understand. You don't know me, nigga. I'm that POV, nigga. The first person point of view porno, nigga. Untalented, trying to rhyme everything with nigga, nigga.